What is a Florida used motor vehicle dealer bond? You have questions, we have answers. Let's get into it. A Florida used auto dealer bond is a surety bond. That means it acts as a guarantee of payment from one party to another. For dealer bonds, that's a guarantee of payment from the dealership to the state of Florida. To get a used dealer license from the state of Florida requires that you get a $25,000 bond. The reason for the bond is to make sure that the public receives compensation for financial damages caused by a dealership that fails to comply with the statutes and provisions that pertain to the sale of a used auto. A few examples of violations that might trigger a payout are a dealer failing to provide a valid title or rolling back the odometer, failing to disclose that a vehicle was used for commercial purposes or possible violations to Florida Lemon Law. If there is a violation, the claim is filed by the state of Florida to the insurance company acting as surety. The insurance company then pays the claim and comes back to the dealership to be reimbursed for the claim's payout. This fact is really important. Surety bonds are not insurance. They're a guarantee of payment. So if the insurance company pays a surety claim, then they collect monies back from the principal, which is what the person or business that purchased the bond is called in the bond contract. The reason that the monies are paid back is that different from insurance, the trigger for a bond claim is entirely avoidable. You just have to follow the laws and rules to protect the consumer. Because Florida used motor vehicle dealer bonds require repayment if a claim is triggered, the credit of the owners and their spouses is used to determine the eligibility, meaning whether or not an insurance company will be willing to issue the bond and premium for the bonds. This is important to keep in mind because understanding the creditworthiness of all of the owners and their spouses could better prepare a dealership for the costs involved with getting licensed. Most dealer bonds are for annual terms, but after some history with the bond, the dealership might have the option to purchase the bond for two or even three year terms. The state of Florida requires that all bonds expire on the same date, April 30th. So if you're getting your license after that date, your bond might be for a short term, meaning from the day you purchased it until April 30th, the following year. If you're getting your bond license a little bit earlier, like say 30 days before April 30th, the insurance company might choose to offer a longer term bond like 13 months. Now keep in mind that not all bonds are created equal. We've discussed some general terms and definitions, but you need to ask your insurance agent about specific situations and your bonding needs. If you don't have an independent insurance agent or you'd like a second opinion, we've built an easy, fast, and convenient process to quote and apply for your Florida used auto dealer bond online at www.floridadmvbond.com. There you'll find more answers to your questions and different ways to contact us if you have any additional questions or need any additional information. So don't delay. Go to www.floridadmvbond.com and start today.